Hello there, my name is Liam Hood. I'm a 15-year-old phonograph collector from Pennsylvania, and this is my video series called Phonographs for Dummies uh, to teach you all about the operation, restoration, and maintenance of antique phonographs. And today, uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to disassemble a Model C uh, Edison reproducer and how to rebuild it and just provide a basic overview of a reproducer, reproducer as a whole. So um, today I'm going to show you the supplies you'll need and what you need to do to basically uh, open up your reproducer and everything involving it. So let's get into it. All right, so here we have the um, necessary supplies that I would recommend. Uh, a pair of gaskets. These are rubber gaskets I got off eBay for about $2.00. The reproducer itself, complete with the sapphire, the stylus bar, weight, neck, everything. Uh, frisbee. It's just a plastic ultimate frisbee. Frisbee, so, you know, you, just any frisbee or plate of some sort works, really. And um, this is a tiny, tiny screwdriver. It's an, uh, a screwdriver from an eyeglass repair kit. I got this at uh, CVS. For like five bucks you can get these at uh or no it's not even like five bucks I think it's like two dollars and you can get these at any pharmacy or sometimes convenience stores might have them or really just anywhere that sells like sunglasses or just glasses in general so yeah that's what you're gonna need and um, my frisbee here you can see this is just a black splotch of paint that I spilled a while ago that's nothing just you know ignore that all right so I'm going to try and get my camera set up so I can kind of just get an angle to show you what I'm doing and, uh, you know, get a good angle to start disassembling this reproducer. So I'll be back. All right, let's start. So first to disassembling your reproducer, turn the light on. There you go. Now there's two screws that hold the, both the stylus bar and the stylus in place and also hold the weight in place. So I'm gonna try and show you that's, there's one right there, right there. I'm trying to get this screwdriver out so I can use it to point. So you can see there's a screw right there and then there's another screw right, come on focus, right there. Hold up. It's, Oh, I have to adjust the camera. No, no, there we go. And then there's a screw right there. Uh, right about there. So that's also a screw. Now these are very, very small. So this is the mounting screw for the weight. And then there's the mounting screw for the, uh, for the stylus bar. So let's first get this screw up here let's get that out first so just get it get your screwdriver in there turn to the left and it is very very small almost all the uh, parts of these reproducers are small so you got to be very careful be sure not to lose anything if I move my camera back or I have issues with the camera angle I must apologize I'm using a uh, a gear right here you can kind of probably see it I'm just using that to hold this in place and I'm on a on a bed right now so you know the surface isn't the best but just just unscrew this And uh, there we just about have it. So it's very small. It's very difficult to get it out. I recommend just taking your finger and kind of just using the uh, friction from your finger. Kind of just get it out the rest of the way. It's, it's very difficult. And just gently kind of 
get it out. Hold up, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a something magnetic. Let's see if that'll help a bit. I believe it will. So here, got a magnetic screwdriver. There we go. There we go. So you can see it came out more. So I'm just gonna. There we go. It's out. I'd recommend tweezers when doing this, but I have very small hands and I don't mind. I'm just going to put that down. And since, you know, Frisbee, just kind of leave it and it'll roll around on the surface. Now I'm going to get the stylus. The mounting bar. You know, the screw that keeps it there. I'm just going to fix this camera. Uh, trying to get a good angle for the camera. It's a little, a little difficult though. Now this screw is a bit, bit bigger than the, uh, the uh, other one, so it's a bit easier. Very, very shaky. I have very shaky hand. So it's a little bit hard to get. It's basically out. So I'm just gonna. And the uh, hinge block is sideways. I gotta put that back. Now, just gonna take it out. As you can see, I kind of just pushed it out and then put that down next to the other screw. Now. I'll fix this camera. So now we have it basically like this. Now I'm gonna want to get this. Kind of just take the stylus bar and let it flop. Now I'm gonna want to hang that like that. Now there's a link at the end. Let's just slide it through there like that. And just bring that up. Bring the stylus bar. And up through there, and there we have the inside of our reproducer. Now we'll wait, I'm just gonna put this aside. Now, this is held on, there's a little wire right there that links the stylus to the diaphragm. Now, the way I have it set up with the link, I have it perfectly set up, so it like aligns itself straight with where it's mounted. So I'm not gonna take it out, but it is very, very simple to take out. It's literally just like, think of it like the end of a paper clip. Right there, you can see it. So it's very easy to take out. It's just a little link. And then there's a little block that it goes into with a hole. So I'm just going to leave that there while I'm doing most of this. But you can take it out. And next we have this uh, clamping ring. Now this clamping ring... Some of them, I believe, are smooth on the top like this. This one is uh, has ridges. Now, uh, there are special tools to help you unscrew these because it's a bit difficult where they, like, put uh, something in between these, like, notches, these bigger notches on both sides. But I can just usually press down a little bit. It just starts to unscrew. Yeah, just press down, start to unscrew. I don't have it screwed in very tight, so... It's not an issue. And keep the uh, hinge block, that keep that out of the way for most of this. Stylus bar. And uh, I believe the ring is just about unscrewed. So once that's unscrewed, take that out. And then I'm going to put that to the side as well. Now we have this little... <clears throat> now we have this little spring ring, which is that metal part. And then below it, you can see the black that's kind of sticking through. Those are the gaskets. Now, those are these rubber parts, these things. Now, I don't need to replace these. These are actually, when I ordered these rubber gaskets off of eBay, I ordered two sets of them, and this is the other set that's in here. So I'm not going to replace these, but if you are rebuilding this yourself, then, you know, have these and be ready to replace them. So, to get this ring out, I'd recommend tweezers for this. But the way I am doing it, it's just also fine. You just got to be careful. So you got to 
take the screwdriver, kind of just wedge it between the gaskets and the ring very gently. Kind of just get it started. And you see, there is a hole right here, right above where the uh, bar sits. Right there, there's a hole. The, at that hole, the, there's an end of this right there. Right there, the spring ring thing goes through it. And I'm also going to keep the stylus just kind of safe. So kind of just take that. Kind of just... There we go. Now it's all coming out. Now I'd recommend just... You can see, it's coming out. The hinge block is what's stopping it. And there we go. Now we have reproducer body with the hinge block right there. So I'm going to put this over to the side. And now you can see there's gaskets, diaphragm. And it's very hard to see the gasket, but you can kind of see the copper sticking through. So it's gasket, copper diaphragm, gasket, and then ring. And I'm not going to take this apart because these gaskets, I don't know why, they kind of like stick to the diaphragm and the ring. And I think that's okay. So I'm just going to keep that there just so I can easily reinstall these just to put it back together. But that's basically what the inside of a reproducer is. This is the diaphragm. This is what moves when the sapphire, which I'm trying to get a good angle on. Let me see if I can, if I can zoom in right there. That is the sapphire. That's what actually. That's basically the needle, but it's not a needle. It's a stylus. It's kind of a. Ugh, it's, it's jiggling around. Hold up. It's not a needle though. It is a stylus. It has a doorknob shape, as you can, as you can see right there, right in there. That is sapphire. My sapphire is a bit worn, but not too bad. It's actually in good condition. I think the reproducer as a whole, I think, was in good condition when I got it. Just need new gaskets. But if you are to, you know, we're using this video to rebuild a reproducer and you want the steps, you know, really just now take these, take your old gaskets. Oh, yep, bar came out. <laughs> but, you know, just take these old gaskets off and then just put new ones in when you reassemble. And this, to get this back in, just gonna take that, kind of get the link through the hole. So, right there so there's we could just get that back through the hole it's very very difficult and always try and not like damage the stylus i don't like touching it too much but you know it's not gonna hurt it it's okay there we go got the link back through now let's put it back together so you take basically just do the opposite of what you did to put it to take it apart so all right camera zoomed out so, oh shoot, I'm gonna adjust it. There we go. So, make sure, so put this kind of down. Now, since everything is kind of sticking together and staying together, I'm just gonna take that, put the end of the spring ring that sticks out through that hole right there. And there you can see the gaskets and the top of that spring ring right in there, right there. So you can see that. And now, just press it down gently, gently, very gentle. Now, we're going to put the clamping ring back. So you're going to start by get this in there. going to obviously get the sapphire stylus out of the way, so get that out of the way. There we go. Get that ring in there. I'm just going to now start screwing it in. Now, this dang stylus bar, just because I'm choosing to be stubborn and keep it in, it's being annoying. Just start screwing it in. Don't screw it in too tight. I just... That's nice. And there we go. So that's pretty good. And then make sure hinge block has room between the clamping ring and the hinge block. And it does. So now we're going to put the weight back on. So you're going to want to 
shoot. The stylus bar came off of the uh, linkage. It's pretty easy to put back on also. Get that on. Come on. Line up the hole. There we go. There we go. It's back in. All right. So take the weight. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. All right. Take the weight. Take the end with the pin. Now you're going to drop that stylus bar. Drop the stylus through there. Take the pin. Put it right there. Put the hinge block that way. So it's going to look basically like this. Now, I'm going to have this stylus and the bar back. Kind of just take this. Be careful. Always got to be careful. Press it back in between there. Just like that. Now we're going to take that screw that hold it in there. Make sure the holes are lined up. This can take a bit. This is, I'd say, I'd say with the screws, it's like the hardest part of a process just due to how uh, small these are. But, you know, it's nice to have tweezers. I don't have any. Might get some in a moment. I'm not sure. But, shoot. Dang screw dropped it onto the you can see it's stuck right there. Get that coming. Don't go through the hole. Don't go through the hole. Come on. Christ. This is oh there we go. It fell. Put the bar. This I'd say is the most annoying part of this whole process. It's just these damn screws, they're, they're very, very annoying, but, uh, where did that screw go? Oh, there it went. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this without mucking it up again. Now, one thing, actually, that I just realized, that I remembered you can do that I would actually highly recommend let's bring that magnetic screwdriver back in since it's magnetic if I just have a small enough bit which I do at the moment I have the screw it sticks on there we go that's another reason to have a mag magnetic screwdriver for this so now we just get that back in is that not lined up Finagle with it until you get it. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna get the small screwdriver back. Oh, shoot, the, the screwdriver fell. It rolled on the frisbee. And there we go. I'll get this small screwdriver back. That's screwed in. That's good. Now we gotta get the hinge block screw, so I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna look for the threaded end, so... Come on, come on. Hold up. There we go. So you can see, that's the threaded end. It's very, very small. Very, very small. You can see how shaky my hands are. But, I'm gonna take that threaded, in, threaded end first. I'm gonna put that Right there, you're gonna put that through that hole, and then you're gonna line that hole up with the hinge block, and just push it all the way through, and now start screwing in. So dang it, camera keeps falling, but now I'm gonna screw this in. small oh, there we 
go. So you can see on the other end that it came through. And so I'm just going to tighten this screw up. And there you have it. And now just make sure that the weight falls so that bar, that little pin falls. So it's very nice. And it is back this uh, reassembled. And uh, it's, ah, there you go, I'm on my bed, bed right now, so, but as you can see, that's the gear I was holding up the camera with. Now, the reproducer is rebuilt, let's see. And so let's put it on the machine, and let's see how it sounds. I'm not going to use a horn, because at the time I'm recording this, it's actually pretty late at night, so I don't want to wake anyone up. Take this one machine up. I have my hand on the other side. A bit of tension already, so it's actually already wound up. Now we're gonna take a cylinder. This is a Columbia brown wax cylinder. Uh, Casey taking the census. It's a uh, comic skit. Press it onto the mandrel. End gate. Press on just a bit more. Start it, get it going, and then... Very thick Irish accents, I can't understand them, but, as you can hear, there you go, that is a, that's a rebuilt Model C reproducer. Uh, Depends on the cylinder, but, you know, with these Columbia Brown Wax cylinders, they sound really good. And, uh, I believe a reproducer, in my opinion, sounds pretty good. And, um, that's basically it. That's how you disassemble and rebuild a, uh, Model C reproducer. Oh, and, uh, with these reproducers, it will say one thing. To identify the model, in case you were wondering, I forgot to mention this, but to identify the model, it says on the weight. So, yeah, that's... Pretty much, that's really it. I mean, there are other reproducers that are a lot more complicated. You know, there's a, you know, like the Model K reproducer has two styli. One's two minute, one's four minute. And then there's, you know, there's a diamond reproducer. So like, here, let me get this for my parts. There's this, this is the carriage. It, well, it's a diamond C reproducer. It's in the carriage at the moment. I just have it in there just because, and I repainted it. Uh, hold up, let me just try and put my phone down. Let me get this out get this on my right hand so as you can see you know, that's a different type of reproducer it's for playing four minute cylinders it's the carriage it sits in and then you know there's the bottom of it which i actually haven't even opened that one i haven't figured that out yet but you know i'm just gonna put that down that's where i keep my parts you know amber Oil 30 restoration is still ongoing but you know and then there's other things like uh this is a recording cutter so this is actually to record my own records i'm gonna do eventually and I'm, I gotta get that fixed, I gotta get a stylus put on it, and get the diaphragm, but, you know, that's really it for Model C, it's the most basic reproducer, it's as basic as it gets, basically, I'm saying basic a lot, I think I'm saying too much, <laughs> but that's, that's really it, uh, they're very easy to understand, there's a lot of guys out there that'll, uh, do that rebuilding stuff for you, if you're not comfortable doing it, like there's a fellow named Wyatt Marcus. I know if he's a, probably one of the more well-known people in the community, in the photograph community. He rebuilds reproducers, does a lot of stuff. But, you know, I think, I think it's good to, you know, figure things out on your own sometimes. And I like to, I want to make this video for those people who maybe uh, want to rebuild their reproducer so they don't have to maybe spend the money to try and get it rebuilt by someone else. You know, not, not trying to be disrespectful or anything, just, you know, I like to, always like to be helpful and teach you something, teach you how to do something if, you know, you might be thinking of uh, having someone else do it for you. And, you know, this, this other parts for the Amberola 30, I keep them on the Frisbee, but I needed it for this video. So, yeah, but that's it for Reproducer Rebuild uh, and Disassembly. I really hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something, and have a great night or day.